Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, no matter where you are in the world. This is Howie, and I'm here to help you win with money. Today is March 11, 2022. It is the last trading day of week number 10. And as you can see, the market started off green, but it is downtrending. So I want to close out an iron condor position. So let's get to it. Before we do trading, if you're on Facebook, join me on Facebook group Investing 102. I do post a lot of my trades in near real time. What that means is literally within 5 or 10 minutes after the trade is done, I will post up a screen capture of either the trade confirmation like this, or I will, sh I will show you what ended up happening or how much I got for the, uh, the trade. But I do that literally in near real time within a few minutes much faster than video so if you want to level up your investment knowledge come to facebook investing group 102 so let's go straight to e-trade here's the portfolio first thing i want to do is zoom into this iron condor here i want to make sure i do some trades before the market changes direction so they're all red right now which is good you see if i don't need this to drop a hundred points right away so what i want to do is this i want to show you this real quick so how do you make money on this trade? So let's do this real quick. I'm going to show you. If you hit the March 18, make sure I do this right, and then press the close button. It's, going to, it's telling you it's going to cost me about 70 cents to close. Well, how did I make money in this particular trade? I'm going to show you. So we'll just go back to this screen here, hit the close button, and let me just see. Oh, it's, actually, if it's flat, it's still in my favor. Remember, these you make money on the time decay. So I don't need it to go up or down. I just need time to move on, which obviously happens every minute. So let's show you again. Let's close this. I think I'm going to close it. Oh, you see before it was 69 cents. It's okay. I'm going to do a debit. And then let's try to close it for the mid. And if I can get it for the mid, I'll be fine. If I go up to 72 cents, I would be fine because you see my profits were already made. So let's just see what happens. It didn't go yet. Hit refresh. I'm going to move it to 71 cents. And you see the markets are changing now. So I need to I need to sell this. So I don't want to wait. 75 cents. Maybe maybe something's happening with the direction of the market. Let me hit refresh. Oh, you see it's negative now. So yeah, let me get this sold before in case the news is rapidly moving against me. And there you go. The S&P you see that? I got it sold. So that's awesome. So now if I want to open a new one, let's look at, I think what I want to do is, this one is 42 days out. I think I'm going to go with this one here, 49 days. It is a monthly. I may get a little bit better choices in strike price. And I'm looking for something super safe. So I'm looking at something like, something like here. Look, these are minus 13 delta, 14, 16. It's a 7 or 8% chance of happening. And then on the call side, I think I'm fine with going with somewhere around here, 370s or 380s. Again, it's a 7 delta. These are 5 delta for 7. So let's, let's figure out what we're going to do. And this is to speed it up, I just picked this here. Two contracts, April 29th. I went with a 370 which is the 370 is the 370 is right here minus 13 delta about an eight percent chance of happening now you're wondering why would i do that so i already have some out there for 392 now this one's going to expire soon and then the one after that is at a 390 and because this one has more time you want to make sure this short put is lower than this this value here now this one, I'm probably going to make money on already, and I may even close it next week. If the market stays flat, I can close this next week. I just don't want the market, I don't want this to go under 2, let's say 15 or so. Because I should, I should have enough distance between the short put and the actual market price where the time will decay faster than the, the movement of where it is, right? It's all about relative percentage of what's the likelihood of, of the current price going below my free 92 as each time goes down right you only have three weeks to do that now because you see where we're at we're at 21 days away each day that goes away reduces the likelihood 
of it crossing the 392. On average, markets may move 1% or 2% a day. On a bad day, it may move 2 to 3% a day. So it is possible for it to cross 392, but the odds are getting smaller and smaller. And then if markets stay relatively flat, I can always collect more premiums from this trade. So this trade will be the two. I just close a two. Remember, I'm doing a two, three, four strategy. I just close the two. I can open a new two. So this is a really simple strategy. I've been repeating it over and over and over. And then the whole purpose of this is show you how I can make money doing the same trade throughout the year. And there you go. It has been executed. Hey guys, I realized I made a mistake. So I'm gonna redo that the chart here I used the wrong the wrong one so let's look at this one this is the correct value here hang on one second I'm gonna hide this one first and then we'll do it right so the March 18 here you go so the March 18 is this one here it's a 102 actually I gotta make sure I look at the right column okay the next row I got a 0.11 so I'm going to follow the March 18. Okay, this one was weird. I did a split here, so I'm not going to look at that. I see what I did. I spun off half of it, and then I did a, there's a 06 here, a 08 over here, a 10 cents here. That's this one here. And then I did a 14 cents after the 10. So that's here. And then this week I did another 17 cents over here. So hang on, you gotta keep on. Another 17 cents here. And then I close it here for 75. And if you add it all up, and this is the right number. I made about 85 cents profit on something that I actually only collected 102 on. So that's 83% of the of the max profit or loss that you can get. So out of the 102, I collected 85 of it. I only left, what that means is you left 17 cents on the table, which is okay. Now I need to come back here and I'll show you the right way to figure out this one. So the March 31 is this number here. And if I close the March 31 today, and I'll show you what that looks like. Just go here, hit close. We're going to look at the ask, which is the full price. So it's a minus 136. If I close that today, it means my profit was only 33 cents per contract times 4. I only collected 30% of what I collected up front. So you still made a profit if I close it today. But what's the point here? This one is there's still a little bit more time left. And because I feel confident that it's not going to get near the 392, that I'm going to actually let a little bit more time go. Am I happy with a 30% profit? Or a if you do the math, 30 cents times 4 contract means I made 30 bucks per contract, about 120 bucks. Not a lot of money, but it's still profit, even considering that it was very volatile and risky during the last three weeks of trading because of the war. But it showed you that I still made money doing this. But I wanna wait it out. I actually think the market, the bad news is already embedded that we're actually gonna go two steps down, one step up, two step down, maybe one step up. And if that's the pattern, if this thing can stay above 415, I think I think you're going to see that I'm going to be able to close this for 60 or 70 or 80 cents sometime next week or the week after. And that's what I'm going to show you guys. So with that being said, the markets are still flat and that's what I like. I'm going to make money when the markets are flat or when it just goes up and down and it stays in a narrow range. And that's what I expect to happen when the next two or three weeks. Now, we are in a narrow range, but the range is still going lower at some point i do think the markets may shoot up so i'm preparing for that that's why i'm not selling anything i'm not going into cash i'm using my options trade to hedge 
Every time I create a profit, I'm adding more cash in my portfolio. I actually did buy some stock the other day. Uh, I did a video. I didn't, actually, I didn't do a video, but I posted it on my Facebook group. I bought some more shares of like Teladocs or DocuSign or whatever. I've been buying more shares. I bought more shares of uh, SoFi. So I've been looking to add. When everybody is selling, when everybody's getting out of their high-risk securities, I've been adding more to my portfolio. But I take the profits from options trading. So I use my cash and options. Never. So so my goal in options trading is not to build it up. My goal is not to have a million dollars in cash. That is not what I do. Whatever profits I make from a lot of my options trades, I actually deploy it into new stock because it gives me the ability to then write new cover calls. It gives me ability to capture the upside in stocks that I would have never bought before. Or whenever stocks are going down, I can afford then to take a profit from one trading method and then use it to buy stock that I can be patient. I can wait two years for a turnaround in a stock. I don't need to figure out where the bottom is. So if you wonder why my option trading portfolio never gets larger, because I only show you all the option trade. I don't ever show you my total portfolio, and I don't think I need to. What I show you is I can make money literally every year trading options. I take some of that money off the tables, I buy new stock, and then the new stock then enables me to buy more options, which repeats the cycle. And what I try to do is I then diversify my portfolio. I'm trying to add new positions of, of security that I didn't have. Because the more things that I have, the more diversifying I am. For instance, fertilizer going well, and I reap the benefits because I own CF, my fertilizer company. But I bought it two years ago before fertilizer became popular last week or the last year. And then what's not popular is all these high-risk stuff. But I got into those in 2018 and 19, way before COVID started. So by always getting ahead and not worrying about market price, it helps my trading strategy make me more money. Hey, with that being said, that's the end of this video. Comment below, like, share it with a friend. I know that a lot of people don't believe that option traders can make money. I'm doing something really simple. I demonstrated that year in and year out. I have videos from last year for 2021. That was 1,500 trades, that video series. This year, I'm doing the 234 video series. And again, I'm still profitable. Even in the last uh, month or two, it was really hard. But the 234 method is doing really well. But thanks again for watching. Hey, guys, follow along. Let's see how I do at the end of the year. Don't forget, let's do this together. Let's do this $1 at a time. As always, have a profitable day. Bye-bye.